vaccinations are our best protection against infections that, in the past, have killed many people. When we receive a vaccine, we become immune or protected from that specific infection. Because many of the germs that cause vaccine-preventable infections are still in our environment, we need to stay up to date with vaccinations to remain protected. Vaccines work by teaching your body to recognize specific dangerous pathogens, so your immune system is prepared to fight off that infection in the future. Vaccines introduce small parts of germs that are weakened or dead, collectively called antigens, to our body. These antigens act to trigger the body's natural immune response without causing illness. In response to a vaccine antigen, specialized immune system cells called T and B lymphocytes, or T and B cells, become activated so that if we're infected by the germ at a later time, our body's immune defense system will recognize the invaders and protect us. Vaccines then are much safer than developing immunity through being infected with a germ. B cells produce antibodies, which are proteins that bind to antigens. These antibodies tag the virus or bacteria and alert the immune cells to their presence, so they can be gobbled up and disposed of. Antibodies can also neutralize pathogens directly by binding to the antigens in a way that blocks their activity, preventing them from making us sick. T cells, on the other hand, attack and destroy infected cells in our body to stop the infection from spreading. After a vaccine, these memory cells stay circulating in the body, making it easier for the body to fight off the live virus or bacteria if you're ever exposed. Vaccines also frequently contain additives, called adjuvants, to the vaccine itself that can help promote a stronger immune response making the vaccines more effective for a longer period of time. The immune system's response and memory can vary depending on the pathogen and the type of vaccine used, which is why sometimes we need to get more than one dose of a vaccine or even get regular booster shots to remind our immune system of the organism. Some viruses, like the flu, change each year, and annual differences in the type of virus circulating in the population require a new vaccine each time to protect against the most common strains for that season. Within a community, vaccines can create herd immunity. Not everyone has an immune system that can mount a proper immune response. Some people, particularly infants, the elderly, and the immunocompromised, can't get certain vaccines and are especially vulnerable to severe illness when they're exposed to live pathogens. If enough healthy people get vaccinated, it makes it almost impossible for a disease outbreak to occur because the disease can't establish itself in enough hosts to spread through the population. This protects the most vulnerable among us, even if they can't get a vaccine themselves. This is why doctors recommend staying up to date on your vaccinations, including an annual flu shot, to protect yourself and your loved ones from preventable illnesses.